I'm Chris Muller from Grand Rapids Whitewater. Uh, Chip Richards and I co-founded the group and uh, our mission is to restore the Grand River which is behind me right now. Uh, we organized ourselves as a 501c3. Uh, we have a board of directors and uh, we have gotten both pi private and public funding uh, which has helped us uh, hire a, a restoration engineer out of Colorado uh, to put together a plan to help us uh, map out the vision for the restoration of the entire river. The Grand River is used by so many different people. Nine out of ten people never get wet, so they're just walking along the banks or living nearby looking at it or driving over it. Um, uh, kayaking has the potential to be great here, an Olympic venue in fact. Uh, but the Grand, which we had no idea, I didn't have any idea, is a, a destination for rowing. We just uh, scored the Collegiate Championships, uh, uh, the regattas coming up in April, a great thing for Grand Rapids. And we're, our restoration project will tie that into the entire river so you not only have just a great kayaking, not just rowing, but you have this whole river system that is a great fishery, uh, is a great aesthetic. It's something that we could be proud of, of actually having our city named after it. Finally, um, when someone asks, where are, the, where are the rapids that the city's named after? We can point to them. Yeah, the dams were put uh, throughout the downtown area of Grand Rapids to maintain a, a, a minimum water level so the riverbed wouldn't dry out. Uh, when the water wasn't clean, it would dry out and it would smell. Um, our, our river, all the point source pollution has been mitigated throughout the entire section of the Grand River that flows through downtown. Uh, so the water cleanliness isn't an issue anymore. The, uh, the hydraulics around the dams, the beautification dams, coffer dams, are very dangerous. Um, the water flows over and then falls back upon itself, going back up river. So it keeps you there, it traps you. It's called a perfect hydraulic. Uh, they're called around the country drowning machines, so people get hurt in them all the time. Uh, so we're trying to mitigate those hazards. These things have done, been done around the country for a couple million all the way up to 30 plus million. We're nowhere at either, at either extremes. We're probably right in the middle to a little bit more, probably a $20 million price tag. Um, a lot of it depends on how much we have the ability to do. Uh, tying in all the user groups and, uh, and, and really what uh, Grand Rapids is willing to support in terms of a restoration project.